Hey everybody, welcome to Truth Love Together, a Colson Center virtual event. We're so glad that you decided to go through this journey with us, talking about how truth and love aren't mutually exclusive options. We don't have to put one down to pick one up, but they actually belong together. You know, we came up with this theme as the theme for our in-person Wilberforce weekend months and months ago. Had no idea, first of all, that we would instead be talking to you this way. And second, uh, that this topic, that truth and love not only can fit together, but they must fit together, would be even more relevant than it was several months ago. And that's what happens at a time of crisis, a time of uncertainty, a time when our kind of normal lives are disrupted, is that these things become even more critical that we get them right, that we think clearly. And, 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 and silly ideas fade into the background and what's really important rises to the top. And so here we are. Christian. Here we are in this cultural moment trying to think about what does it mean to follow Christ? What does it mean to love God and to love our neighbor? And we do live in a culture in which truth, at least truth that has any level of certainty, uh, anything that's considered to be objective, any kind of understanding of truth that presupposes or actually implies that somebody else's uh, view is wrong, that, well, that that can't be loving, that truth is actually opposed to love. And that if you are going to be loving, you can't speak out with that level of certainty. But here's the foundation of the Christian uh, vision of life in the world. It's centered on the fact that God became flesh. In other words, it's centered on Christ. The late John Stott said that, that Christianity fundamentally is Christus Nexus. Christ is at the center. Everything else is, is, is at the peripheral. So what this means is, we look at who Christ is, and what does the scripture tell us? Christ is truth, and Christ is love. So that's where we're going. We're going to go on a journey of five modules. Each module will have three speakers, and each module will have an uh, incredible bonus session that just brings a little bit of a different and practical angle to each of the topics. Module one, we're going to be talking about truth. Module two, we're going to be talking about love. Now here's what we're going to be doing with these two. G.K. Chesterton said that if words aren't worth fighting for, what on earth would be? See, the battle for our hearts and minds, the battle for our families, our culture, civilization is very often the battle over the definition of words. And if there's two words we need to be clear on in our culture, it's truth and love. And if we're going to figure out as we're going to try to do what it means to live with truth and love together, we need to know what we're talking about. So module one defines truth. Module two defines love. Module three, we're going to talk about what does it mean to be a person of truth and love. Module four is going to get into some skill. How do we speak the truth in love in this cultural moment? And then module five, how do we, how do we tell the truth and love the victims of bad ideas with the truth. As we say around the Colson Center, ideas have consequences. Bad ideas have victims. And there's a lot of victims of lies. And the act of telling the truth itself can be loving to those who are the victims of these bad ideas, of these deception, these lies in our culture. So this is where we're going. Stick with us. It's an amazing lineup. You know, I'm really thankful for all the speakers, the thought leaders, the organizations that are supporting this, and for all of you who really grasp this idea. It's more important than ever that we get that truth and love belong together. Thanks for joining us.